Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be showing you all how to make your own sanitizer, plus a DIY holder for the sanitizer. And I'll also be making disinfectant wipes out of Dollar Tree cleaning products. So first, we're going to start off with 2 third cups of isopropyl alcohol. If you use rubbing alcohol, that's fine. You just want the alcohol content to be over 60% to make sure you're still killing the germs that you need to be killed. You'll also need 1 fourth cup of aloe vera gel, and you're just going to add that to the isopropyl alcohol. Next, I'm adding some peppermint scented essential oil, and I suggest adding no more than 10 drops so that the smell isn't too overpowering. FYI, this step is optional, but I highly recommend it if you like the smell of clean. Then you'll want to mix everything together, and the more you mix it, the thicker it'll get, so don't worry if it looks a little bit watery at first. I also let mine sit in a bowl for about an hour before I put it into the holder, and it thicken up to a really good consistency. Here I have a little Himalayan salt jar that I decided to make a little DIY project out of. I went into the garage and found some paint and I was like, hmm, I'm going to make a holder for the sanitizer. After I painted it, I put some tape almost two-thirds of the way down all the way to the neck of the bottle, and I used black spray paint over the top of the jar as well as the bottom. Here I'm just using the top of a regular sanitizer bottle and I'm just spraying it black. I then took the tape off and it was a little messed up so I decided to use a nail file to make a sort of rustic look. This part was a bit tricky. I had to find something to make a hole in the cork big enough for the sanitizer top to fit into it. So I tried several different screws and tools and eventually I was able to get the right side. And then I found some of this pretty decorative ribbon that I could use to cover up the messed up line dividing the gray and black paint. So I used some E6000 glue to stick the two ends together. Then I held them in place for a couple of seconds to make sure it was really sticking. Now I'm just using a funnel to pour the hand sanitizer into the holder. Okay guys, now is the moment of truth. Alright, now moving on to the antibacterial wipes. First you're going to need a half cup of Pine Glow, which is clearly the Dollar Tree version of Pine Sol, and you're just going to add that to one cup of water. And if you didn't know, Pine Sol is an antibacterial and a disinfectant, so we won't be using anything that could cause a chemical reaction. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of Ajax dish soap, which is lemon scented, but you can use any scent that you like. Then you're going to add about five drops of essential oil, and again, this is optional, but highly recommended for an amazing scent. Now you're going to want to cut a roll of paper towels directly in half. I know Dollar Tree does sell these, but I believe I bought these from Target for like a dollar, so they're probably the same exact quality. 
Here I'm just using an old container that held disinfectant wipes and I'm putting the whole roll of paper towels into it. It was a bit of a struggle so just make sure that your container is wider than your roll of paper towels. Now you're going to pour your solution in circular motions all around the paper towels so that it's touching every part of them. Then you can remove the roll in the middle and pull out the paper towel in the very center. And voila, there you go. <laughs> I wanted to create a label using decal, but then I started getting tired, so I just hand wrote the label, and I'm not a calligraphy writer person, so please don't judge my cursive.